What's up guys, it's Jason here, and today I want to show you guys on how to install or get or whatever download the damage indicators for Minecraft 1.614 on a Mac. So this a mod requires Forge. I'm going to show you guys how to download Forge. And before you download Forge, uh, you want to download the latest version of Java. You have to have the latest version of Java or it's not going to work. It's going to come up with a error and it won't let you download Forge. So go ahead and download the latest version of Java, and then we're gonna download Forge. So <clears throat> and you go down to the recommended and grab the installer, and it should bring us to AdFly and um, go ahead and skip ad on this left, right, bottom, uh, right, top hand corner, or whatever you call it. <laughs> click skip ad. It should download and click keep. And once I've downloaded that, uh, we can go down to uh, this website to get uh, damage indicators. So we're going to scroll down and click on this. So I'm running Minecraft 1.6.4. So that's the latest version of Minecraft right now. But new newer version will come out like 1.7, 1. 1. whatever, 1. 1.8, whatever. It still works if you follow these steps carefully. Hit skip add and hit download. Download the zip file and okay now you're done with that i'll uh, go ahead and drag those items on your desktop uh don't launch up minecraft please no this is not i don't play this <laughs> sorry about this so go ahead and drag forge and uh damage indicators you should have two things on your desktop minecraft forge and the damage indicators what you're gonna do is uh before you do this uh you want to go ahead and launch up terminal you don't have to download it comes with your mac and go ahead and paste in this code i'll put it in the description uh for leopards and snow leopard you don't have to put this in okay for lion and mountain lion and mavericks you have to put this in and press enter and go ahead and go down to your finder your user and you should have your library folder back okay so now we're done with that uh go ahead and double click on the forge installer hit open simple installer Okay, so we're gonna wait for it to load up, and it should come up. So what you wanna make sure uh, this is the same as uh, me. So if your does if you your d uh, whatever you wanna make sure this is slash users slash your home folder slash library slash application support slash Minecraft. If this is if this doesn't come up, click on this uh, button and find Minecraft in here. I don't know where is it right here so you click choose and make sure you click on the silent uh, install client and hit uh, okay and it should pretty much install the files and we're gonna test out the mod and drag the files into the um, mod so we're gonna wait for a while I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead it takes uh, a bit long not long too much but it will take long so I'm gonna skip ahead and I'll come right back Okay guys, now the forge is successfully installed, we're going to hit OK and quit out of this. Like Now we can trash this app, or this jar file. Go down to Finder, User, Users, Library, Application Support, Find Minecraft, and go down to your uh, versions. And now you should see Forge. And what you're going to do is, in your Minecraft folder, you're going to right click, click New Folder, and call it Mods. Make sure you name it the same as me, no capital I's, no happy faces, whatever, nothing in it. So after that, uh, we're going to go ahead and drag in damage indicators into the mods folder. Make sure you don't unzip the file. And now you're done. Uh, go ahead and open up Minecraft. And it's going to load up. Okay guys, now I'm at the Minecraft screen, but not in the real Minecraft screen, but I'm going to show you guys the important part. So you want to click on profile and you should see Forge. So I select Forge and use the existing user and click play. And it should load up all the files and I'm going to skip ahead and I'm going to go down to the real Minecraft home screen, okay?
Okay guys, now we're at the Minecraft home screen, we're gonna go down to the mods and we should see damage indicators. Now it's installed, so I'm gonna go to my world. So I'm gonna go down to my uh, my world that I played like, years ago. And uh, pretty much it's dark. So as you see, damage indicators mod version 1, 2.9.0.9 uh, is up to date. So my Minecraft is kind of laggy a bit. Uh, so thank you for watching guys, so that's pretty much it on how to uh, install the damage indicators mod for Minecraft 1.6.4. Thank you a lot for watching guys, if you have any questions, suggestions, feel free to leave the comments in down below and I'll reply you ex I'll I will reply you as soon as possible. So I'll see you guys there, peace.